Sea Doo owners, you're ski cavitating. Let me show you a couple things. May not be something sucked up in the jet pump, but there may be an issue in there that gets overlooked quite often. Let me show you some examples real quick. So a lot of times cavitation is caused by something sucked up in between the wear ring and the impeller blades, but it can also be the impeller itself or the swan. Here's a prime example. Now this is probably off of a rental jet ski, but you see how the blades here are very chewed up. That will cause some serious cavitation. It's gonna slow your ski down. You can see that right there. This one's pretty bad. And here's a big one. This is why I say in the videos, always check your splines on your drive shaft. Now, this one's not new over here to my left, but it's a usable one. This one, these are all stripped. What happens is your drive shaft will spin, but this is not gonna catch into here, all right? So your impeller, is gonna go onto these splines. But if the splines on either side, either a drive shaft or in your impeller, are stripped out like these, then it's not gonna actually spin the impeller. It might spin a little bit, but not at the RPMs you need it to in order to go forward. So if you're having bad cavitation problems and you see that your jet pump looks fine as far as nothing sucked up in there, pull the pump off, check your splines in your impeller, and the splines on the drive shaft, I can almost guarantee you that's where your issue lies. If you guys need help, feel free to DM me pictures or videos. I've heard some guys are having trouble sending videos and pictures within TikTok uh, messages. You can find us on Instagram as well. It's a little easier there. It's the same name, Jet and Prop Shop. Uh, I run that account too, so I'll be the one answering for you. But yeah, feel free to reach out if you got cavitation issues and uh, we can see if we can help you out from a distance.